This December we have been very busy. We have been doing an advent calendar on our Patreon page and it's free for all to watch. So there is a bunch of daily episodes all the way from 1st December and it's going to go all the way to Yule Eve. So at Yule Eve there will be 24 daily episodes to watch over there. The link is in the description of this video. Now on to the episode. Come, come on. What a mess. So we are going up to the village now and fire up the smoker. I really would like to have a smoker here, but since your father already built a smoker, it feels like, ah, well. <laughs> yeah. or me and your father, but your father started with the foundation there and then we just, okay, we we'll built it there. That's fine. I think we should go here. Den här vägen. Varför då? Ja, vi ska gå och hämta lite väl. Ska vi dit under? Ja, jag ska hämta lite sån här rökväd här. Jag gjorde en liten stig till dig. Gjorde det, var bra. Ska 
просто а, блин. So a couple of days ago we put a moose heart and a beef heart and four back legs from our sheep in salt. And now it's time to light up the smoker and smoke them. Some years ago I guess or some year ago I showed a little bit of the process here when me and my father-in-law built this smoker and I got a couple of questions on, about how we built this and so I thought I would show you a little bit about it. I think it's pretty good. So it is just with bricks uh, a small square room in the bottom and then it's a wooden house on top. In the bottom here we got this hatch and here is where you light the fire and then we got the big doors like this. Here you can hang some meat or, or sausage and here is also room for this uh, mesh so you can put meat on that as well. So I've done some barbecue here, we need to go wash this before we put some meat here. And then I got a, a piece of um, metal here, so when the meat gets hot, the fat and grease uh, comes on top of this instead of down in the fire. But this is the special feature with this smoker. Underneath this there is a bunch of rocks. So when I light the fire in the in the fire compartment, the flames never touches the meat. So the smoke comes through the rocks and into the smoking chamber. And the rocks also store some heat, so this can function as a as an oven. So when we build this brick thing, we just put some metal bars uh, straight fr from one side to the other side and then uh, put rocks between those bars and then p piled a bunch of rocks on top of everything. Here on one side I got a thermometer and then a thermometer for sticking into the meat. And on the other side there is a, a, a hatch to, to open up so you can control the the draft. So the thing with the stones here in between the fire and the smoking area is my favorite feature on this smoker. Of course there were some some issues with uh, the walls here not being maybe as tight as it should be maybe I don't know. Uh, so the smoke leaks out in certain places but I don't know if it's necessary to be better or not. <laughs> Can we turn the island? Here is an attempt to make a cold smoker as well. So this, you could light a fire in this and then the smoke will travel 
to this and up into the smoking cabinet. It's not ready yet, we need to build some kind of roof and I don't know if it will work or if this pipe will be too short or but maybe you could get it to work. But the warm smoking or hot smoking, I don't know what the term in English is for, for this kind of smoking, it, it works really well. So now I'm going to uh, feed this fire and, and, and wait till it's about 80-90 degrees Celsius inside this cabinet and then I will hang up the meat. As you can see it's not entirely smoke proof <laughs> everywhere but Yeah, I forgot to mention that we made some sausages yesterday as well. So some of those will go into the smoker. So we had a, a long day yesterday making the sausages and then I butchered a deer for some neighbors. So, <laughs> so I didn't get to bed before after midnight. So we had a, a slow start this morning. So it's starting to get a little bit dark here now. The smoker is probably warm already. I've hanged up the meat and the sausages to dry a little bit inside before I put them in the smoker. It is ready for the meat, warm enough. So we'll see if Tuva can help me carry the sausages out here. I also boiled a tongue yesterday. I haven't smoked a tongue before, so I'm not sure how they do it. And I didn't <laughs> check it up either. I've eaten a smoked tongue that was very good. And then I have also eaten a smoked tongue that was pretty firm <laughs> so so I chose to boil it first and then I will put it in the smoker I guess for a while at least so we get some some smokiness Jasså, vad bra. Tar du dig ända till nedvärstigen? Looking forward to tasting these. Mm. There was a convenient uh, branch hole here for the, for the thermometer. Mm. Oh, you have thought about it. <laughs> 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 
Det kommer en, som en hund tillbaka. Som en hund? Tillbaka. Det var hundra när vi började. Det var hundra när vi startade, men när du håller de dörrarna öppna så det går väldigt snabbt. Men sen kommer de här stenarna här, jag tror, att hjälper mig att hålla mig stabil. Temperature, because some uh, at some point I made too large a fire, and then I had a hard time getting it down the mm. temperature, <laughs> even though I uh, had the hatch open. Mm. Do you need to put in more wood? So now I control the temperature by choosing which kind of, uh, how big the, the wood or how much wood, firewood I, I put inside. And also if it's too hot, then I put two pieces of firewood mm -hmm. close to each other. And if it's too cold, I put them a little bit further apart with a space in between them. And then they burn a little bit more vigorously. <laughs> So we made some traditional uh, Swedish prinskorv, but with uh, larger casings. Mm. They're usually very small. <laughs> or, yeah, thin. Mm. Mm. <laughs> we'll see. Like the finger on it. Prince sausage. Sharp knife. Smoke up my coffee. Shit, boom, machine. Very nice. From our own stairs.
Hmm. It seems that I have had it too hot. The sinew broke on every one of these. Luckily I got this grid down here. <laughs> the last piece of heart and then the four mutton back legs. The temperature I want it to be when it is ready and the current temperature. And the temperature in the space. It is lower now because I was just opening the doors. So the smoking went very well. This is in Swedish called rökt for fuel, like a, a violin, <laughs> smoked cheap violin. <laughs> here we got uh, here we got a piece of that sheep, very nice, and then some uh, smoked cow tongue. I boiled it first and then smoked it, and then smoked uh, elk or smoked smoked moose heart very nice Maybe I should, like they do when they taste wine, drink some water in between. Mm. Very good. It has a salty roundness. Uh... <laughs> Very good. It's a pity that rules and regulations around meat is, uh, is so strict. But if you want to start taking radical responsibility for your own life, I highly, highly suggest that you, you read this book, The Most Dangerous Superstition by Larkin Rose, and truly, deeply learn that you are free and that all authority is illegitimate. So when you learn that, this is a nice, very nice product. <laughs> so, Talas Buan, Rökt for Fiol, 2023. A piece of gold. Born and regeneratively raised at the same place, and also harvested and butchered at home on the pastures that they were living on. And then also smoked at the same place. I think this is a unique product. can't say I'm not proud about the, <laughs> the food we produce here. This is something that I really like to, to succeed with or be good at making salami. And this year is the first time I have this empty 
fridge that I can uh, dry them in. So I can have an active or a passive phase. So passive when the door is closed and active when it's open. So when the door is closed, it's, it dries from inside out and starts to sweat out the moisture inside. And when the door is open, it dries from outside in. So, so during the curing of this salami, I, I open and close this. When I feel that they start to dry too much on the outer shell, I, I close it. And then after a while, open it again. So it's going to be exciting to see how this sausage ends up. And on the fridge here, I got the protocols where I write up the pH and the percentage of weight loss. So for those of you who are curious, I have been using salix and alder, I think. I should have checked this, what the English version for these are before I came down, came down here to show you. But yeah, I will, uh, I will write the correct terms here. I think this is really nice. It gives the smoked meat a very good flavor. And I use those because they grow here. You can smoke your meat with all kinds of different woods, but those are the ones that grow here that I think is nice. I could also use birch to smoke, but then I think it's best to remove the birch bark before you use it. But I don't know if that's necessary. I'm very happy with the result and I'm also very satisfied with this smoker that we built. There is a couple of things I guess I need to fix here as well. I have used a couple of different smokers, so I have some experience. I guess I'm no expert <laughs> in this, but, but I have some pointers that, that can be good to know if you're going to build a, a smoker. One is that you, you shouldn't build it higher than you can reach. Then it's uh, a little bit hard to handle the meat here. And also, these are a little bit too thick, I need to modify them a little bit, but you can hang the sausage on top of these or have hooks with the meat and then they f slide in like this, straight, so they are ex uh, exactly so long, so you, can, so you don't need to, um, how to say, struggle to get them in here, it's just slide them in here. So that's, that's really nice when they are full of sausages <laughs> or heavy meat. One thing I need to do as well is to have a, a, some kind of rack or what to say, where I, can, where I can hang this here on the outside. So when I'm gonna load the smoker, I can put this with all the sausages here on the outside and then take one at a time and load it or when they are ready I can also put them here so I have the hands free to close the close the doors and everything. But I guess that's about it for the for the suggestions on building a small group. But as I said I'm very satisfied with the results so I wish you could taste this meat. There's nothing like it. So in two days it's Yule mm. and uh, we really hope that you all will have a wonderful time. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this episode about the smoker. I was thinking that there were going to be some tractor renovations in this episode as well, but then uh, mm. <laughs> it would be an hour long more or something like that. Yeah. That will be next time, I guess. And because of the Yule calendar we made, we are not going to make a special Yule video this yeah, year. No. no. But so we have but we have several old ones that you can rewatch. Yeah, there are three of those. <laughs> yeah. But uh, also check out the Yule calendar. Mm -hmm. There is some sausage making and gingerbread bread baking and flat bread baking and all the meatballs, Swedish yeah. meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So link in the description and it's free for all to watch mm. on our Patreon site. So have a great jewel. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Hi. Uh. Okay. What am I doing? Over there. Yeah, over there. So over there. Oh.